How's it going, everybody? For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. Hmm. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligation to do right. You know, this is... It's unbelievable to me how cryptic the word of God is and its truth. And I remember when I took a law class for my business degree and like business law. And you read case studies and you're like, they just speak another language, lawyer speak. And that's why they call our Lord the Riddler, and to make fun of him with their Batman, of course, as their Antichrist. Because Jesus spoke in parables, and he said, it is only meant for you to understand the truth. And Jesus was the truth, and Jesus is the word, and the, the word of God is a parable. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligation to do right because you were a lost sheep. But when the Holy Spirit baptizes you, you are then under obligation and you will follow through properly. That's how cryptic that is. For what fruit had ye then in those things thereof? Ye are now ashamed, for the end of those things is death. And what was the result? You are now ashamed of the things you used to do, things that end in eternal doom. Well, yeah. When we, Once we get the call, we look back on our life and go, gee, a show was nasty. But now you are free from the power of sin. Because why? Because the Holy Spirit has baptized you and Jesus, is, you now have Jesus' spirit or the Holy Spirit dwelling in you instead of demons. And you have to watch yesterday's study, and I would assume all of this playlist start from the beginning, found in the playlist section of this channel, not videos, but you click playlist and start Romans from the beginning. Now you do those things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. Why? Because the Holy Spirit's in you now. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Yes, because the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ being inside of you. It's not of any free will. We're just in hope and we are glad. We have a spirit about us that allows us to become alive yearning for the hereafter know ye not oh now you're going to start Romans 7 which is I've got a whole playlist dedicated it's only a two video playlist but it's dedicated because I thought of something afterwards but it was dedicated to going over this entire chapter for ye not brethren for I speak to them that know the law how that the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth. No longer bound to the law. Now, dear brothers and sisters, you who are familiar with the law, don't you know that the law applies only while a person is living? For example, when a woman marries, the law binds her to her husband as long as he is alive. But if he dies, the law of marriage is no longer applied to her. So while her husband is alive, she would be committing adultery if she married another man. But if her husband dies, she is free from that law and does not commit adultery when she remarries. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is the point. You died to the power of the law when you died with Christ. We talk about they don't have to keep the rituals of the Torah laws anymore you're now under the law of christ and now you are untied with one who was raised from the dead as a result 
we could produce a harvest of good deeds for God. Wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth the fruit unto God. All right, Revelation 8, 8-13. And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea and a third part of the sea became blood and a third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died and a third part of the ships were destroyed and the third and the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as if it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the stars called Wormwood, and a third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many died of the waters, because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars. And so, as a third part of them was darkened, and the day shone, not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, a reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. So, giving warning. Love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.